Today on Enamel Pearls, I'd like to go over the major cause of periodontal disease and a novel way to test for some of the specific bacteria responsible for it. The jungle is filled with layers of living things from the ground to the top of the canopy. Similarly, the mouth is filled with different types of bacteria living together in various ecological niches. Some bacteria is good and some is bad. Let's look at how to test for periodontal pathogenic bacteria that might be living in one of your patient's mouths. We've known for a long time that bacteria, viruses, and even smaller microbes are associated with periodontal breakdown. Like the rest of our body, there are many types of bacteria that are normal members of our mouth. In fact, over 700 types of bacteria have been found in human mouths. Luckily, most are friendly species that we can coexist with, but there are a few species that if acquired or allowed to flourish, cause tissue damage in an immune response. Bacteria live in organized layers called biofilm. Biofilm is like a bacterial city where various bacterial types live in specific niches. Different species thrive in different layers of the biofilm since there are different gradients of oxygen and metabolites. In general, the deeper under the gum, the more sinister the bacteria become as they trend towards gram-negative anaerobic species. The immune system responds to biofilm at or below the gum line by sending immune cells to attack and kill the invading bacteria. In the mouth, we see swelling and inflammation at the gum line, gingivitis, which can then progress to bone loss around the teeth, periodontitis. Lose enough bone and the teeth get loose and fall out. Back to the microbes. In the past, we didn't have a great way to test for specific type of bacteria causing destruction. There were a few ways to sample the bacteria and try to grow them out on petri dishes, but the problem is that most dangerous bacteria in periodontal disease are very hard to grow since they die when exposed to light and oxygen. So let me introduce you to a new way to look for the worst types of bacteria, the MyPeriopath test from Oral DNA Labs. This test looks for pieces of DNA from 11 specific periopathogens. It's really simple to use. You take out this vial of saline, rinse it around your mouth for 30 seconds, and then spit it back into this collection tube. The tube is labeled and sent by mail to Oral DNA Labs. They do their magic, and two to three days later, we have the results online. Let's look at how to examine the test results. There are 11 specific bacteria that we test for. They are all known periodontal pathogens and tend to occur together in different ratios. Our results page shows the presence and number of bacteria in the sample. A bar graph with a black line indicates the threshold above which the bacteria are dangerous. We can see for each patient a custom fingerprint representing the most pathogenic bacteria that cause periodontal disease. They can run, but they can't hide. That's our tip of the week. Visit us at enamelpearls.com. We've got fresh dental tips and how-tos. Click on the link below so you never miss anything from Enamel Pearls.